church and I, I run the sound system in the church and I'm going, like, well, why are you in my spot? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Tell me, that's Pastor Cal. Right. He was still here yeah. and now he's, he's come back, he's on the board, of, he's on the middle of the board and he makes decisions and, well, you in my spot. <laughs> that's the spot I talk to God and he in my spot. And then that moment, that's my main man. He seen me yesterday, he seen me a month. About a year, about, about, about a year, about a year, he seen me. He seen me yesterday. He looked. He's, he's, we do our thing. I, 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 that's my main man. That's my mama. My mama. That's my mama right there. That's my mama. And I, I put God in front of God and say, not the big lighthouse, the little lighthouse. That's right. He need help. And my wife said, uh, we're going to leave here and go to my father's church. He opened his brand new church today. He goes to church. And that's going to be a blessing. Because, uh, them too. So I try to surround myself around men of God. If you're about to pull crap, I pray for you, but I, I, I can't be around you. I'll intercede for you, because that's what I'm supposed to do. But I got friends that drug dealers, and murder. I'm not going to turn my back on them, but hey, I go. My man, I ain't seen you in a long time. Okay, there you go, got you. Because I know what my life has been. I know how I need to be around. I need to be around. I got four men in my phone. Pastor Calvin, Pastor Massey, 
Pastor Cecil, Pastor Tony, another man called Mike, Pastor Mike Carter. They're all pastors. But they went through the same place I went through. They did the same thing I did. Those are the men I need to be with. But I stayed connected to this called the vine. The vine of God. That's the vine of God right there. That's the vine of God. Pastor Massey, I got to call him once a week right over to the problem. He's going to call my wife. He all right? <laughs> if, if, if you need me, I'll come check him for you now. But you got to stay around people who want the best for you. Not because you can paint. Not because you can play the drums. Not because you can uh, sing. People who want the best for you. And God will want you to do what you can to want God to be in your life. And you got to want God in your life. But I, like I said, last week this time, I was in the hospital. I live in Georgia. And I'm here. I would not miss it for nothing in the world. This, that's my main man. That's my main man. And God told me, you need to be around that man more and more every day. Pastor Tony got a big church. He got so much that's going on. <laughs> Pastor Carter, he got so much going on. Pastor Cecil got his own business. He got so much going on. Pastor Massey, the funeral director, he got so much going on. Oh, yeah, but they all been who been where I've been. And they've been sober. So that's the people I need to be around. I need to be around little God around my wife. Or working in Atlanta Airport to me is like working in a club. And you know, you can't, you come from a different place, bring the tin to cling to you. But I don't want a uh, one night stand. I don't want uh, a jump off. I want a wife. Yes, amen. I want the wife. I want somebody who loves the Lord like I love the Lord. And I take that same spot. I ask for a cup I want God, please. Please. Come on, man. <laughs> but I made some mistakes now. I thought somebody was somebody and another friend was calling. But God forbid, man. I went to Atlanta and got a job in the mission. Started working. Then I that don't pay too much. I like shoes. I like clothes. I like glasses. I like, I like, I like, I like to stay fly. So yeah. do. But it's a, it's a God. Not me. He's right. giving me this thing. And, um, I work in the airport and I'm just driving around with this human. How you been, man? Turned the corner one day. I said, oh, who that? Oh, it was a light. It was like something about her was something. So I had a friend who worked for Delta. And I said, man, who is that? He said, Miss Bridget. She's been in college when I was a kid, but let me tell you something. She prayed. She worshiped the Lord. They want some of you. I said, okay. I'm going to pop my machine and went outside. I said, God, if you give me a chance to say something to me, you open that door, I'm going to kick it down. I'm going to kick it down. One day I turned the corner and I, I eat a lot of candy. So God, she said, hey, New York, what you got in that bag? And I said, thank you. <laughs> That's it. Because she wanted somebody to every day I said, hey, 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 hey. Who we going out? Two months went by. Three months later, I was mad. Okay. Wow. All right. well, you know, you I was know. great. I knew what I had. I knew what God sent me. This is my blessing. This is my son yeah, lover. That's a good time. Yeah, my, my sister lover. Yeah. Everybody, my aunt, my cousin. <laughs> I went to a birthday shower uh, two months ago. They said, uh, we thought you were coming here with a project chick. I said, what do you mean? She educated. She's classy. She don't every word in the G word. And, and the most of the conversation is about God. Yes. I went to dinner last night, and when I came home, Dustin was on the phone talking about God for about an hour and a half. I love that because it encourages me. It raises me up. It teaches me. And when I wake up, she's strong. Yeah. When she wake up, I'm strong. This is a blessing. I don't care what nobody says. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. I ain't praying for no big bud. I ain't praying for no big wind. <laughs> <laughs> Some people pray for the wrong thing. You do. You pray for what you want. You can uh, sit and talk to God like you're home. Listen, man. Do what I need. Do what I want. I'm going to keep doing your, your, your do what you got to do. And I, I want you to give me this. And like Pastor Calvin said, I'm a servant, man. I serve. At that program I stayed at three years, I graduated from a southern house. I serve. I mean, I had to build three or four o'clock in the day job in I did. I, I was the maintenance man. I was the, I ran the warehouse. I ran the kitchen. 
cut grass. I didn't call one. I just, I just got yeah, this stuff. I like this stuff. <laughs> I, I, I just said, Lord, whatever you got for me, you give me. Testing. And I left there and moved along. Testing. Testing. Amen. So, uh, Amen. So, I'm blessed. Y'all gonna see me more. Y'all gonna see me more. Amen. Gonna see me more. Amen. My main man, I gotta be my main man more. <laughs> so, but God was talking to us, we need to move. He said, he said a couple weeks ago, we were back to the house in Tampa and uh, my wife loved that lighthouse because oh. ain't no place like it. When you hit the ground, it's the presence of God. The worshiping, like I'm sick now, y'all y'all lucky. Cause I'll tear this place up. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the fire start, I jump out the ceiling. When I start jumping, the Lord hit me, I go, but I'm I can not i do not want to fall and look crazy. So I just sit there and <laughs> but my spirit say go, go, go. But I said, no, no, no. <laughs> we can't go right now. But um I'm glad to meet y'all. I'm glad to be here. Any man that's here, that's not clean as you, God got something for you. God working in your life. Yeah. You're just like me. You like to sing. Some things know that I beat them. With my hand messed up right now. That's what I do. I love my life more. I sit in my garage with my pyramid and I listen to music and I cry. I live slow, but I know. I ain't supposed to be here today. I but God. But God. He walked with me. He put my hand. He knows my name. Amen. He knows my name. And I try to I try to do my best. I ain't perfect now. I might cuss y'all a little bit. You know, make me mad. But you know, that's just I am gonna tell the truth about me. I ain't perfect. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 But I love the Lord. Amen. I love the Lord. I love being on a positive environment. I love where ain't nobody, when they see me, no Christian in the house they don't want to go. I could have walked down the street and got without a gun. Now I could go home and sit on the corner and talk to my homeboy without a gun. I ain't worried about it. God got me. I couldn't do that. My mother would even walk the street with me when she was alive. You walk ahead of me. But you somebody trying to kill you. Somebody trying to kill you. Today, my son. Tell me, love me. Amen. You don't want to talk to me. Tell me, love me. You text me this morning. Good morning, Dad. God, you God. I'm going to my I'm going to I'm going to man. Uh, good morning. I'm, I'm from here. I'm from Louisiana. I haven't been on drugs. I've been many things too. It's like you've been education. That doesn't mean anything. If you're going to hell, it doesn't matter. Lying, gossip, fortification, hatred, unforgiveness, it doesn't matter. People look at drugs and all the other stuff. It's not about that. It's about giving your life to Christ. It doesn't matter which path you go. Because I, I got a place for everybody. Or who he can reach, I make hands. Or who I can reach, he make hands. I was suicidal growing up. My mother gave me away at six weeks old because I was angry. I had a rage spirit, a murderous spirit, and I was suicidal. It was a lot. And God had to come and get me. He saved me at 25. He get on my shot. Fill me with the Holy Ghost and fire. And I've been running with him for almost stuck in my shade. Hey, I love the Holy Hey, I love the Holy Hey, I love the Holy Hey, come to the Holy Ghost. She can't. 30 years. I've been running with him. Yes. And I was running, I was going to offend him. He's been running with you and me for years. And they prophesied to me over 30 years ago that I was going to be with single parents and people on drugs and alcohol. But I was like, God, I was going to about no drugs and alcohol. But he was going to send them to me so I can pray and make intercessions. Like, yeah, yeah. Make intercessions. God wants us to come and He wants not to be judgmental, to have pure love for people. Pure love. God is holy, He's righteous, and He loves us. He hates sin, but He loves us. And He do not want us to be judgmental looking at people. He wants to show love and give whatever you can help them do, you help them. 
them with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. I'm finished back there because I, I feel my eyes get fired up here. See, I know what they've done for me. I know what they've done for me. I know what they've done. I could have been dead and gone. He kept me. I'm sitting in that bush. I'm sitting in that bush.